Well, small businesses are really feeling the pain with all the closures and people staying home to keep the coronavirus at bay. CBS 2's Rachel Kim is live in Burbank where the pandemic is hitting businesses where it hurts, right in their bottom line. Rachel. Yeah, Pat, we checked in with several small business owners up and down Magnolia Boulevard here, and they all agree that while social distancing may be good for public health, it's proving to be bad for their business. Ramsey Kroll isn't just the owner of the New Deal restaurant in Burbank. These days, he's waiting and bartending too. It's a little rough. Like, you know, we had to cut some staff this week, which we're really bummed about. We don't like to do that. Kroll had to reduce his staff because they're just not seeing the usual crowds as more people are avoiding public places. The staff isn't only cleaning and sanitizing more to reduce the risk of spreading the coronavirus. They're doing things like keeping the front door open so people don't have to touch the handle. Kroll tells us he's doing everything he can to survive economically. We have to be prepared to have some overhead to keep our doors open if, if we have to shut down for a little bit. And that's kind of scary as a small business owner, me and my family on this. We don't have, you know, tons of financial backing. The Small Business Administration said it's ready to provide low interest loans of up to $2 million to small businesses hurt by the coronavirus outbreak. President Trump recently called on Congress for an additional $50 billion to the loan program. Program. That's comforting news to Irene Doan. She's the owner of Oasis Nail Spa in Burbank. Fridays are one of our busiest days, and right now it should have been really busy, but it's not. We took a drop of 30 to 40 percent down in service sales. Doan has also had to downsize her staff because many customers aren't coming in. She wants to let everyone know that they're taking extra precautions to protect customers and the employees. We have a four step cleaning process. Um, we also uh, protect our bowls. All of our staff wear gloves uh, while doing services, and they also wear masks. Come on out, support your local businesses. Business owners tell us they're especially concerned because there is no end date for this pandemic, so they just don't know how long they can go on like this. Reporting live in Burbank, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News. Oh, thank you so much, Rachel.